Good morning and welcome back. It's Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the first market update for Wilmington, Mass. in the new year of 2011 and um, a lot of activity going on. As you can probably tell, had some closings that happened at the end of the year. Let's see here. We had about six closings and we had five properties go under agreement all within you know 1229 to January 2nd and um, good for them for working over the holiday a lot of people a lot of misconceptions about realtors they shut it down over the Christmas vacation or we shut it down in July and August and it's really not the case for everybody I mean the real estate market's moving and if people are willing to work so um, that's my little tidbit but I digress let's take a look at what what came on the market this week now if you look here in the days on market you can see that there's only one true property that came on the market and this is a new construction over in Jock Lane by the Shawshin School and it's an attached you can see in the picture it's an attached um, home you know like two townhouses but uh, being labeled as a single family for 389 now uh, all these other properties well Jock Lane in particular that property's been there for a while it's been known about within the community because it's just a subdivision that's being slowly rolled out as you know, properties sell, they'll just continue to put them on the market, and um, that's the case here. So, lot seven, as you can see, also came back on, but it has been on for over a year with uh, uh, no movement. So, um, Jack Lane's moving, but we still got a few properties that are still available and probably some more to build as well. Also, got 343 Salem Street. Um, that's at 419 that had uh, must have came on the mark off the market for some particular reason and then this one uh, 585 Hoover came off and came back on in a relatively short period of time so not exactly why not sure why they came off but nonetheless they're back on and some of this other stuff has been on already and has extended our price change but the average price this week for actives is uh, 384 days and believe it or not the uh, the price change and extended would be 143 days. If we took um, all the ones out except for the new one, we'd have an average price of 389 and market time of two days. Now on to under agreement. You can see Jacques Lane, another one went under agreement at 419. It took 174 days. Uh, 32 Faulkner Ave, 12 Weber, 161 Lake at 345. This is a uh, colonial, but it looks to me like a split um, Dutch Gambrel type of property. And this went under agreement at 345. We're going to get to the, the another split Dutch Gambrella sold for 348 down when we get to the sold section. Uh, you can see that the average under agreement price this week was 365 and took just over three months and 105 days. And um, the average sales price was 331 and took 152 days. So even though the average sales price was lower, and the market time was a little longer and we can see by the 63 Lowell at 229 days and 401 Middlesex at uh, 235 days and 22 Earls Row at 231 days so that definitely uh, brought up the um, days on market and you can see that the property that was the most expensive took the least amount of time 25 days it's a classic colonial on a cul-de-sac it was on for 25 days, uh, came on at 524, sold for 508, and uh, that was the one that took the quickest amount of time. Then we got this other one, 48 McDonald, that was on for 85 days. This is a uh, interesting ranch style home that has some upgrades, has some room, um, a lot of land to uh, landscape, and uh, this one ended up selling for 272. So, as you can see, the average asking price was 389 on for two days if you take the true actives. The under agreements was 365, market time of 105 days. And then lastly, the average sales price was 331 and the market time of 152 days. So, that's the market recap for Wilmington this week. And look for the end of the month, we're going to have the 30 days versus the past 30 days average sales price. So, that's coming in the future. So, stay tuned and we'll talk to you soon.